Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Today I am going to be working on a tag and a pocket um, for Jovi at Creating with Jovi. So Jovi, if you don't want to see what you're going to get, even though you kind of can see, um, don't watch. <laughs> but make sure you comment and give me a thumbs up. Um, anyway, she is doing her Road to 2000 Subbies giveaway and I'm doing a VR for her make sure you guys are where I want you. All right. So we, I'm, um, so what she's doing is, um, she's wanting us to suggest to her a possible journal theme. And I am going to suggest a sewing theme. I waited a little bit and watched a few videos, um, of the things that she was getting so that I could send something you know, to kind of go along with what she was already getting. So if, if people give her a whole bunch of ideas, you know, she won't have as many things to make one journal with. Does that make sense at all? Um, let me tell you what her rules are and then maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So you're supposed to comment on her video, um, an idea for a journal that you would like to see her make. And then you are supposed to send one piece of ephemera to her, just one. So um, I know some people think that it's hard to send stuff out, but this in an envelope would be one piece of ephemera. So I was going to do this on my channel, but somebody commented about how it was hard to send things. And it was like, well, it's a stamp. You know, so it's actually pretty easy. It wasn't asking for a box full of stuff. So um, just one piece of ephemera. And she said if it could be in the theme of the journal you're suggesting, that would be great. And then she wants you to say enter me in your comment. And that if we could do a VR, that would be wonderful. So I am doing a VR for Jovi. This is the first time I've done one. So I remember one time um, somebody was doing similar, you know, giveaways and she wanted people to do VRs and I commented, cause this is when I was first getting started and I was like, what's a VR? <laughs> I didn't even know what a VR was. So I imagine I wasn't the only one. I mean, at some point you don't know what things are I guess I don't know I don't know here I am rambling again okay so um if I didn't say Jovi is the sweetest um she is a she's like a happy crafter yeah I'm, I'm the cranky crafter I guess if you were to compare the two of us <laughs> sarcasm and stuff like that she's not like that you know if you go over there and watch her I mean this is kind of a lot of pressure to put on somebody but she is always just so happy and in a wonderful mood I am using I thought it would be fun to use up some of my scraps uh, so I have this old Fiskars um, border punch and I don't know do they have numbers on them or something to say which one it is I don't know but it's this one and I found it at a thrift store but I thought it would be fun I don't know how it's gonna look I'm gonna just eyeball it and trim it down and then make it just maybe a little bit skinnier and see if I think it'll be cute to add to the tag but like I was saying Jovi is so sweet um so for the most part, and I haven't seen it otherwise, when you go over to her channel, she just has the happiest, I don't know, presence. I don't know what to say. And her her crafting goes right along with it. She just is a bright spot. So definitely go over and check her out. I will link, I think I want it a little bit skinnier. I will link the video for the the giveaway but I'll link a video just one of her crafty videos as well um, just in case you're not subscribed to her that way you don't have to do a whole bunch of searching around and you can see what I mean she's just the sweetest 
Okay. I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or not. I just, I thought, well, maybe. Might be cute. Let's see here. So if I go ahead and line things back up again. I mean, it's not real obvious, but it's there. I wonder if it was on this side, if it would be more obvious. It is a little bit more obvious, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. What do I think? What do I think? I mean, it does, it does a little bit. It adds a little bit. Let me stand up and look at it. Let's see what you guys are seeing. Is it that way? one way or the other. I'm going to do it that way. It might be a little bit more obvious if there wasn't a pattern, but we're just going to do this. So I don't know, did I say all the things? VR for Jovi. So it's creating with Jovi. And like I said, I will add that. And it's her road to 2000. I remember her road to 1000. I had found her, but I hadn't really started watching, like, you know, when you find somebody and you're like, oh, okay, and then you forget, and then you find them again, you forget. Um, I hadn't started watching her real consistently yet, but she did just an example of just the fun she likes to have. She wasn't sure, I remember, she wasn't sure how she was going to do her drawing, for the 1000 subby giveaway. And for that one, she had people send her an ATC card. And that was the first time I had done an ATC card. So that was kind of fun. So the way she drew her winner was she put everybody's names in a pinata. <laughs> and, and they hit the pinata. <laughs> so that's just an example of Jovi. This is a little crooked, but I'm using art glitter glue and it's dry already. So not much I can do about that. So I just thought I would layer these up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put the circle here. Um, hopefully I can remember kind of where I had that. I think it was right around here. I hope. But I thought since a sewing, sewing theme journal, this kind of reminds me of the eyelet um, ruffly stuff. So I thought that was cute. And I'm not inking because I don't know... You know, I like for things to just kind of all go together and for myself. And so if I were to ink it and, you know, she wants to ink her journal in a different way, it might clash. So I'm just going to leave everything uninked. And if she wants to ink it, then she can ink it. Now, I'm going to send her a little bit more than just the one thing. Um, but she asked for one thing, so don't, don't be, you know, like misled to think that you have to send more. Um, I just thought I would send more. And I think I put her a little higher than I really wanted to, but that's okay. I'm going to punch these. Or, yeah, and then... Um, so I glued this down onto one of these tags. I'm going to punch that out and then put a fabric, you know, pull thingy on it. And 
it's a thick um, tag with all that. So this is a really thick piece of fabric. I'm hoping that it goes through okay, it doesn't get caught. It's gonna be bulky, but I think it'll be cute. Okay, I like that, the bulkiness of it. I think it's really cute. Okay, so there's the tag. And then, you guys remember I've done this a couple of times. I've made pockets from the fabric. So I made her a pocket, so that would be, you know, in there. And so I thought we would decorate it up a little bit. I sewed some buttons onto this piece of a fabric, um, I don't know, ruffle that I made. I made this a long time ago. It was just in my stash, so I thought it would be perfect to use. And so we're just going to glue that down, hopefully get it on fairly straight. And then this will help hold the pocket, hold the pocket closed. The weight of it. Oh. It's coming through this. Um, I sewed it and it, the hot glue was coming through the little sew holes. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this at, let me see, I'm going to trim it here and just kind of rough it up a little bit, I think. She may have to trim it more to fit on a page. Okay. I might trim it more, I'm not sure I like it hanging off like that, we'll see. So there's that, and then I have, it's a little crooked, isn't it? Um, I have a label, so we'll go ahead and glue that down. Maybe, yeah. I have made this, um, so this pocket I've done in my pocket video series, pocket, pocket video, Pocket Wednesday series, if you're interested, I can link that below to see, um, you know, if anybody's interested in seeing how I did that. So then I had this butterfly that I was going to just kind of add for fun because it goes with the color of her dress. Um, now I wish that wasn't so crooked. It looks crooked to me, but there isn't really anything I can do about that at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. Oh, I'll also tell you the, the paper that I'm using. I'm always afraid that the glue is gonna go through since it's such, I don't know, thin paper. Okay, and then I just have a couple of cutoffs of sewing themed paper to put down inside. So obviously I'm sending her more than just one item, but it is kind of just for one page, right? <laughs> of course she could use them wherever she wants. So that would be my entry. And then the papers are I found them at a local store. Um, she sells authentic. So this one is Stitches and it's Stitches 7. And it's this and it looks like that on the back. And then this one is Stitches 3 and it's this on one side and this on the other. And then this one is Ruby Rocket Bolt. 
I'll just, you know, let you guys see the info because I really don't know info on it myself. It looks like that on the back. All right, so there we go. There's my entry, and make sure you go over and check Jovi out and subscribe so we can get her to 2,000. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.